Hey guys, what's up? This is Dark Cloud here. Welcome back to episode 6 of the Pokemon Omega Red walkthrough, let's play, Nuzlocke, etc. And in the last episode, we made it here to Cerulean City. We battled our rival Green, I think it is. And we went through uh, the, 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 the bridge, no, Nugget Bridge, that's what it is. And then we got our encounter of a shush -sh roomish. And I went ahead and did some grinding between episodes. And and I will show you guys the results of that. But I'm going to go ahead and let you know before I open up the team menu that um, I trained on the um, trainers like up above to... Uh, uh, what's it called? I, I just keep blanking so hard. I'm, I'm just so tired. Um, I trained on the route up above to uh, get just faster grinding in because I really wanted to get another uh, recording done tonight. So um, that got knocked out. So now we're just basically going to be able to go right to Bill, right to the gym, and continuing forward and I think this will be great because we'll also get some encounters and I think it'll be a pretty solid episode um but for now uh I also got a static poplio up there that someone just gave me one but let's go ahead and get into this so we got Nike the Boreloom with huge power and Mega Drain, Mock Punch, Stun Spore, and Leech Seed oh I didn't nickname this Breon all right you can't nickname Giftmon but you can re-nickname them. Anyways, got Breon uh, with Bubble Beam, Water Gun, Aqua Jet, and Pound with Water Veil. We've got Hammer, who has huge power, with Tackle, Helping Hand, Fake Out, and Foresight. Got Evergreen, the Pidgeotto, with Tackle, Twister, Gust, and Quick Attack with Kenai. Got Felix, the Ampharos now, with Static, with Shockwave, Thunder, Thunder Punch, Thunder Wave. Confuse Ray. And finally we have Charlie the Tora Cat with Fire Fang, Bite, Scratch, and Swagger with Intimidate. Now, uh, if you're a suit and you noticed the abilities for both Tora Cat and um, my Hamon Chan changed. So they both changed their abilities from Keen Eye and Blaze to Huge Power and Intimidate. So I went ahead and used my ability capsules because... Everyone else's abilities were pretty solid, and I think I just... First of all, Keen is awful on him on Chan. But I just need a little bit more help than what I had. So we're going to go ahead and just run up here to Bill. And I also already triggered Misty coming back, so you don't have to worry about that either. I mean, you don't have to worry about anything. Like, this is all me, but, you know, you get the idea. I feel very tight in my chest right now. I don't know why. Like, this is the uh, third recording I'm doing tonight. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm getting, like, super flustered. Oh, right. I want to get an encounter here. Hang on. When we have Stun Spore, is Stun Spore the same accuracy? Like, is it 100% accurate? No, it's 75. So we're going to switch to Felix out in front so we can paralyze our encounter. Yeah, it was actually able to not get any kind of encounter here, which was, like, super lucky, but... Oh, okay, that's dupes. It's crazy that I'm actually, like, turning down that thing. Ooh, nice. Okay. Ooh. I can't... Wait, no, I can paralyze it. Um, we're going to confuse it and let it lower itself a little bit. Um, we're going to write this down. So, root 25 is a 5 brava, which will probably be a little bit hard to catch. Um, I know 100% that you can paralyze it with... Um, 
stunts for. So I know it's a dragon right now, but I also know its stats are not the best. So I don't exactly want to hit it with like a mock punch or anything. So let's just see how Pokeball does. Okay. That's going to be annoying. Because I have nothing to do but throw poke. Oh! Okay. Um, I really did not expect to catch it that easily. Um, I'm going to call him Kite because his wings kind of remind me of a kite. I couldn't find the K for a second. I am clearly getting very tired. And it, it's not late in reality, but it's late for me. Um, he's definitely not going to be put on the team right now. So, oh, also another thing. Um, whenever I came over here, a Suicune event was triggered. So now we have seen all of the legendary dogs. So just want to keep everyone in the know, you know. That was more for me than you guys, but it's still fun. <laughs> you know... I'm just now realizing, in the time it took us to fight green and come up here, Bill turned himself into a Pokemon. Because, like, green just said that he talked to him and he helped him with his Pokedex. I don't know if that's, like, a normal thing that happens in the standard games, but, like, that dialogue... But if it is, then that's really interesting that it only took him, like, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe, to go ahead and turn himself into a Pokemon. Although I guess that makes sense why he's still, like, freaking out. Because, like, you, it just happened. You know, I don't know if um, you guys have ever seen uh, the Twitch Plays Pokemon the animation that they do on YouTube, but it's super funny because uh, Bill becomes like his enemy because he didn't help him turn back into a human. He's still a Clefairy, just like chasing him basically around the region. And I find it super funny with that. Um... Nope. I was wondering if that little patch of grass was Cerulean City. Uh, but I just find it super funny. Um, I'm going to lead Breloom, see if I can get him a few more levels. You know, I'm really disappointed. Okay, so Hammer tried to learn one move while I was leveling him up. He tried to learn Vacuum Wave, which is a special fighting type move. So it doesn't help him help him at all. Um. I forgot what I was going to say. I wonder if she's going to have, like, an Alolan form. I'm trying to think of, like, an Alolan form that she could have that would be an issue for me. That Mon is a great example of something that's a little bit of an issue. Oh, and it has Limber. And evidently Toxic Spikes. So I'm not going to feel very comfortable switching anything into this. And I'm now thinking about this. Okay. I don't really want to deal with that. So I'm not going to balance back out the whole time. Um, yeah, I was saying, I knew I had antidotes. So let's do that. Oh, I see. Oh, gosh, that would have one shot me if I was poisoned. Okay, well, let's avoid the toxic spikes. There we go. Fortunately, they're here the whole... Another crit! Just stop with so often with the crits. Like... Uh... I... I need Ampharos.
Let's just go for the Thunder Wave. That was really on me. I made that really bad decision. Okay, that's fine. He he wasted that turn. I really hope Misty does not have a Toxpex. Why is Torcat getting such bad moves? Okay, so that was literally like one of the worst things that probably could have been led. Just, I mean, I guess now I think about like if Misty decides to lead like a tentacle, then that's going to be an issue too. Um, hmm. Is there anything that Amphra, a Quagsire, a Quagsire wall? I'm pretty sure that thing's a flying type, if I remember right. So we're just going to go ahead and do the hard swap. Or maybe it just learns flying type moves. We are definitely like right on par. I mean, some of my mon are like under leveled because I was worried about over leveling, but apparently I should have leveled them up more. We're just gonna go back and we're gonna 100% make sure that we are good for this gym. And I really, really want to lead Breloom, but I'm just so scared of, uh, well, literally anything just like walls Breloom, because I literally both people in this gym threw out things that resisted, uh, grass. Thank you. Gosh. You're in New Vegas. Only, wait, only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach to catch and train? All out offense. Interesting. Okay, this is actually a good lead for her. Well, for me. Let me see how much this Mega Drain does. You know, I forgot. This thing naturally learns moves like that. And Sideways is supposed to be a varying... That did not do nearly as much as I thought it would. Okay. Please don't one-shot me right here. Okay. That was not worth it. really feel like she had to know I was going to go for the swap because why would you go for crunch on a fighting type ooh there we go now I need like a physical grass type move okay Starmie's coming out I can get a little bit of damage off on with my Hitmonchan but like that's not going to help me very much. And Charlie will get one shot, so he's basically worthless in this gym. I don't feel like it's worth it to go out. So I think it's going to be best for me to just stay in with Felix. Go for the Thunder Wave. Because this thing should... Really? Okay, that's kind of worrying me. Um... There we go. Really? You just get the burn too? It's first turn. That's some BS right there. You do not get double burns with that move. This game has changed so many little things that it makes it, it's to the point where like if you don't over level then you just lose i'm pretty sure the only reason i just didn't get burned right there is because um brion has water veil so it literally can't be burned in fact that's literally the only reason Worried about that move taking out, but I'm just gonna. Okay. Um. 
I didn't have to go for the full heal, too. Hey, stop. Animals. They're killer on the concentration. Please go for swift. Thank you. Okay. Please let Thunder Wave hit. Thank you. And another crit. I'm getting very, very frustrated with these crits. Thank you. Finally, some bad... Oh, and I'm burned again. Wow. I... How in the world am I supposed to take this thing out? Surprisingly, he actually has some pretty good special defense. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can use. Like, at least he's paralyzed, but like, I feel like it's to the point where I just need to be able to set up like a leech seat on him at this point. And try to see if I can... Okay. Okay, let's slow down. Like, see if I can just, like, wear him down. <sighs> you know what? No, no, no. I was about to throw him. It's just... I, I need this to happen. I did not think Hammer was going to be the one to take that out. What in the world am I doing to a Milo tick? Okay, this is our last one. It's level 33. Gosh, I wish I had better items. Okay, that's fine. You can attract him all day. I really need to get that burn off. Okay, was not expecting a physical attack. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal all the way up. And we're both female, so this is actually an ideal situation. Oh, that's kind of annoying, but it's okay. Okay. Really, you're confused and paralyzed, and you still hit me. Thank you. Hey. Oh, never mind. They're playing. It's fine. Okay. On a very surprising note, I didn't lose anyone that time. One second, guys. Okay. Oh my gosh, these these battles are so stressful. Whenever they change those. Those little things. So, my Brion could definitely learn. Oh, it's Scald in this. It's the only one that can learn it. Let me see what the power of Scald actually is. It's 
80. That's quite a bit better than Bubble Beam. But I'm gonna get my signature not too long, especially if I have to grind again. So I don't think that's worth. You know, there's gotta be a move in here that's gonna like. Okay, I know the special grass type move is not gonna be good. Now, giving him Rock Slide actually could be good. Uh, I actually might need a uh, Foresight, unfortunately. All right. Okay. Oh, these are awesome. They're set up so your teams like stay. That's what I was actually super worried about. I mean, if that's how it is, then I'm not nearly as worried. Like, I'll teach Rayloom Shadow Claw. Wait, no. No, all he needs is Seed Bomb for his moveset. But I'm pretty sure giving Crunch instead of Bite would be very nice. There we go. And I noticed that also Hammer can learn Crunch. Um, in this case, actually, we'll give it a Foresight because it is super effective. Boop, boop. On ghost types. So you don't need Foresight anymore. And I might as well go ahead and teach it to Pichiotto if it can learn it. Doesn't really make sense, but in this case, I'm not going to complain. And I will give it a quick attack for it. Okay. That really was like the main thing I was worried about was uh, not being able to use them anymore. Okay. Trying to get this done quick here so that we can go over and get some new encounters to end off the episode. Okay. Doesn't the Team Rocket Ground after you beat him give you... Um, Team for dig. Please don't have too high level of mons. Okay, we're gonna speed through this guy. Oh, it's a lowland diglet. Let's try force bomb. Nice. It's in a lowland too. It's slightly more, and I still one-shot it. Nice. Oh, that's all I had. He evolves at 34? That's crazy. But pretty excellent for me, because having an Incineroar is going to be solid. You know, they did really good work with an 8-bit sprite for him. You know, I'm thinking now, can Incineroar learn Rock Slide? Nope. Hmm. This is actually Dig this time. I think it's the first time they've actually given, given me the... Gosh. Given me... The move that they say they're going to give me. And he just gave me an Alolan Vulpix, which we're not going to worry about putting on a, the team at the moment. Uh, it's cut tree, so. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I'm pretty sure if we start hopping down or going down here, it's going to be a new area. Yep. So, route five. Shh. Switch Felix up front. Route 5. 
Okay, I'm gonna win right. Ooh, jeez, that that's a toughie. Gonna go and write in the full picks, and apparently this plusle. I'm pretty much a hundred percent positive that there are better mon than this plusle in this grass. But this is what we got. And I just super don't care. But I will catch it for dupe's sake. I'm about to thunder punch it though. Alright, I got it. I'm gonna call you Van Lu. Van Lu was my uh, math teacher whenever I was uh, at some point in school. I can't remember at the moment. But he was a pretty good guy. You know, I'm gonna torch myself and see what else I could have gotten. Okay, well, I couldn't get that because I had a bee drill. And I don't really want that. Okay. I don't really care anymore. Oof. Okay. Hmm. Oh, look at that pitchy. This is Pokemon Daycare, isn't it? Nope. Don't want to have her check out the um, Plessel and the Alolan Volpix I just got. I guess Vibrava, I didn't check him out either. Naturally, has Levitate. Not a bad move set. Also, not a bad move set. It's got Natural Cure. That's pretty nice. And he's got plus. Okay. The plus is pretty standard. All the rest of that stuff is pretty nice to have. Um, okay. So, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and go in through the underground. Hold on. Can I, oh, that's tree spot. I thought I could... Wait, wait. I just want to check if they kept this the same and you can't enter here yet. Yep. Okay. I, I just want to be sure, you know, whenever you change a game, sometimes you change, like, major points in it. Doesn't she want to trade? Miss Magius for Baneri. That is not a good trade. It's funny watching him run in fast motion. Super speed. It'd be really cool to have super speed. But, like, obviously you need, like, some kind of protective like barrier around yourself so you don't like just you know like die from the sheer like speed you're traveling there's a cat fight happening i mean like actual cats and not um females fighting okay Okay, um, on that note, I'm going to call it, because uh, I just killed that encounter without really thinking about it, so I think I just really need to get to bed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and write this in real quick on Route 6. We got a Viper, and it died. And that's probably going to bite me in the butt, but I forgot I had glasses on. Okay. Um, so, I probably... We'll just end it here, and uh, I might do a little bit of grinding to round out the team, but I probably won't take on any of the trainers here in this next round. I'll leave that for the next episode. Um, but, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, put a comment. If you really enjoyed it and aren't already, please subscribe. 
because I'll keep posting content. The more you subscribe, obviously. But I'll probably do it anyways, so. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week on Monday.